What's up everybody, how you doing? I've come to the Celtic Manor to play around the golf today on the Roman course. So I booked on yesterday, it's 18 quid. So I'm actually walking through the hotel part here because I've just dropped Frankie off at nursery with our Lindsay. And I'm walking up to the golf course now. It's quite a distance. So I'll let you know when I get up there. But this hotel is absolutely gorgeous. So if you ever get a chance to stay here, come and stay here and live like a millionaire because that's what it's like here. Wait to see what happens next. How far can we get if we sail a little So I'm on a quick shuttle bus now to the golf How far can we get if we sail So I've just been up to the academy, got 40 balls and just had a quick warm up. Hitting it pretty good, pretty decent. So I will continue down now to the pro shop, sign in, my tea time. 930. There's actually three golf courses on this complex. The Ryder Cup was here last on that was played on the 2010. There's the Roman Road as well. That's where the Wales Opens have played on a lot of times. And also there is the Montgomery. But I'm playing the Roman Road course. Decided to go off the white tees, everything's okay with the starter. He said, You're a low handicap, are you? I said, Yeah, and I want to test myself. So here I am, here I am. A wheezy, we're just on that hill there, and I'm just here. So the green is up there, just in between that gap, and we're going to try and hit something like a six iron. Nice shot to the first Stewie baby. Round of applause, please. This hole number two. Here we are in my ball. It's going to knock a fat, uh, I've not got a three wood, so I'm just going to knock a rescue down there. So you know, you don't mind going in bunkers when you break like this. Okay, so a bit of a scrambled hole, but I made a par. Hold a very long putt for a five. Par four. So we managed to just survive the bunker, but we've got a bit of a tricky second shot now. Just a bit too strong with the pitch. They're very slick, these greens. Not used to them at all. So. Stu Johnson goes to one over. Push the tee shot, terrible shot. Look at all these camel humps. Run right back to that pin. So I made another bogey, guys, on that. Part three just then, so two over. There's my tee shot, this one's right up the hill. And there's still two bloody ladies right up my backside.
And I shot in with the wedge. Let's see if I can get it my first birdie. That's not what you want to read when you're coming up to a tee, is it? It's the par 3 7, it's only short. 149 yards. Let's see if we can get it close. I'm gonna give myself that, what do you reckon? Will you give it me? Thought so. Just a bit short there. So I'm on the par 5 ninth hole. I've not filmed me driving second shot because somebody's played me through. But I've just hit to an unbelievable drive and an unbelievable second shot, which is typical in it when you're not filming. I have a good chance for an eagle to get back to one over. Good it all. So a good chip and a putt required, folks. Bogey five, back to three over. So this is a real beautiful par three. Push tee shot, nearly in the bunker. Another long chip shot required. Birdie chance on the 12th. Well, didn't make it as you saw. No man, it was a bit of a weak putt. I'm on the 16th now. Still not good. Not recovered anything. Plus six. Well, I've just played two beautiful shots on this hole, and I've got a good chance of a birdie. Let's hope I can get one. I birdied 16 with a nice three, missed it because my back is going dead. Bogey 17, and I've got about 160 yards to the 18th. Waiting for the green to clear. <laughs> 